Ben, Ben, what's Ben? Son. Son. So it's her sons. Okay, so how can you tell that it's her sons? The hey at the end is the her. And then the banim, what happens to banim? It goes into smichu. So it loses its mem at the end. I don't know, it's right there. There are no banim, that's right. Oh, okay. We're explaining how you got to baneha. Oh, okay. <laughs> baneha is banim minus the mem, safit, and then the ha is her. The alef tav is there. They're the object okay. of the arachem. So What's the arachem? I, I will not have mercy. Not have Why? Mercy. Because they because are. And the hema is mm-hmm. they are. They are. Oh, okay. The they. Harlotry. Um. Right, we've talked a lot about Zana, right? It's a bit sad, isn't it? It's not their fault that they're the children of Harl Tree. But God says he's not going to have mercy on them, and I guess that's his decision. I think, you know, that he's, well, he's, he's really appealing to her, right? Because these are her children. Look, if you don't get right, I'm going to take this out on your children. And maybe sometimes we might go a little further for our children's welfare than we would for our own welfare. Is that true? Okay, verse 7, from even a Western mindset and how people think about things. And this is how uh, we have gotten sort of to the state of the welfare state that we're in. Oh, those poor people. It's not their fault. We'll take care of them. Wow, there's a lot of great words there, isn't there? Yes. Key. Because. <laughs> zanta. So what is zanta? Relative, right? Remember, mm-hmm. verbs that end in hey in the third person female, perfect tense, they get an extra ta, right? She made us ta, she was hayata, she saw ra'ata, there's an extra ta there, okay? So she was harloting imam. How do you say with? How do you spell with? Im is with. So, and actually I think it, it uh, declines out as imahem, with them. It's not, not usually imam. But this is M, their mother. So it's their mother, <coughs> which is Hovisha. So this comes from a uh, root. It means to be ashamed or embarrassed. We're going to go, I don't know how to spell embarrassed. Breshi Bet Esrim Vechamesh. Breshi Bet Esrim Vechamesh. And then we'll go to the other, because it has another cognate. You, they were Shnei Hem. Shnei Hem, the two of them. Arumim, what were they? Neki. Uh, Ha'adam, the each the man, and, the man, and, the wife, and his wife. Velo Yitvoshashu, they were not ashamed. What binyan is this? Yitvoshashu? Hetfael, yeah. So they're, ash- they're not ashamed, but that's the root. All right. Uh, let's look at Mizmor Kafe Asu Hashehi. Yes, and it's also to in English. It's just a, ma- a miracle. It all matches up today. Elohai, what form is it? It's a possessive. Good. Who, who's owning it? My God. Okay, it's Elohim. It's minus the, the pay. The, the mem. <laughs> Wait, that round one. <laughs> uh, and But it's not Elohi because that would be for a singular, a singular noun. And this is plural, Elohim is plural, so it becomes Elohai. Okay, yeah, so let's just look at that for one second since we're doing lots of review here. So what's the word for son? And what is my son? Bni. Okay, and what's the a word for sons? Okay, so if I want to put an ending on it, first I have to drop the Safi. But what becomes the vowel here? I, Benai. So, Bani is my son, Benai is my son. This is Elohai because it's God. Elohim is plural. Elohai. Bacha. In you. Batachti. Batach. To trust. Uh huh. Al Evosha. I will not be embarrassed. I am not ashamed. And if we trust in God for the most ridiculous things, we shouldn't be embarrassed about that. Even the world will try and embarrass you. You're believing what? For what? Do you think that can happen? No. I will not be ashamed. Al. Not. Ya al tsu, a lot. I think we don't know. A lot means uh, to rejoice. It's in that song, Roni Roni Batsion. 
Vialtzi Becholev, saying rejoice with all your heart. But who is he saying should not rejoice? Oi, vi, my enemies, li, we would have to say over me, that my enemies will not rejoice over me. So now we're going to go to uh, Bereshi uh, Aleph, and we're going to see a cognate for this bash. Pasuk Tesha. All right. Vayomer, Elohim. Yikavu. The gather. What binyan is it? Nifa. Oh, they are. They will be gathered. What will be gathered? The mayim, mitachet hashemayim, under, under the heavens, el makom echad, to one place. The teira e. What is this? What's the root? Ra'e means the sea. Good. What binyan is it? Nifal. Teira e. It will be seen. What will be seen? The yibasha. What is the yibasha? The dry land, the embarrassment. <laughs> so you have this cognate, which is yavash, which means dry. But Hebrew has its own cognates okay. inside, right? Yeah. For example, tzachak yeah. and tzoek. You know tzoek? To loud, yeah, speak loudly. Okay. So the ideas of something loud coming out of your mouth have the same meanings. You have the okay. tzadi is the same. But the middle is one of these gutturals, yeah. chet or ayin, and then the kuf is the same. Okay, so Hebrew has a lot of internal cognates, and we, this should not be a surprise to you, but maybe it is, I don't know. But, but I guess the question is, you know, why is dry land like being embarrassed? Let's look at breshit chet. It's not covered, that's right. Pa suk sheva. And he sent. Who is sending? Noah, we're in the ark. The Orev. Now that's a cognate. Orev is a cognate for raven. He's not sending any Arabs off the ark. Is <laughs> it is a cognate for Arab, of course, but Orev is a cognate for raven, and that's what he's sending. <clears throat> but yet say, let's say it went out. And then this is kind of a, a little ad, idiomatic. You have both of these uh, absolute infinitives. Yatso Vishu. Yatsobashu, going and coming, going and coming. We get this idea of it's going back and forth. Ad until. Here is the Yaveshet Hamayim. What's happening to the water? It's drying up. Okay, until the water is drying up, Mal Ha'arz, from from the face of the earth. So so we have this idea. Going back to Hosea, Hosea, right? This is, we're talking about the mother because because their mother has played the harlot. Hovisha, so it's a um, a he feel, and it's this idea of being ashamed or embarrassed. She is ashamed or embarrassed. Horata, this is not a dance. The hora, <laughs> her parentage, their parent. She is ashamed of their parentage. All right, horim are parents. It's the same root as what the tahar, and she became pregnant. Right, you see it in that form. She became pregnant. Tahar, the Toled. She became pregnant, Tahar, Horima's parents. No, she is ashamed. She she has, she has, uh, I don't know that she's ashamed. If she was ashamed, maybe she'd quit doing what she's doing. But she has shamed their parentage, right? Her children's parentage is shamed. It's dried up. <clears throat> it's naked. Everybody can see this horrible thing that's going on. Key. Therefore, because Amra, Amar, she said, and this is what she said, Elcha, I will go. I will surely go. Okay? Elech, with that, uh, the injunctive, it's not called the injunctive in the first person, it's called the cohortative or jussive or something. I don't know. Okay. Achare, I'm going after. Ma'ahavai. So what is the root of that? Ah, oh, love. Lover. Okay. The mem makes it a person, and the I at the end makes it a plural mind. I will go after the lovers of me, my lovers. Note nay. What form is this? Okay, everything that ends in A is the same thing. What is it? Smichut. Okay. So smichut of what? What would be the full, the full form? Notanim. And what is Notanim? The ones who are giving. 
I'm going to go after my lovers, the givers of, and now we're going to find out what they're giving. Lachmi, lechem. My bread. My, my, my waters. <coughs> Summary. You don't know. Tzemer. Wool. It's like Baba black sheep. His wool. Okay, she's listing all these th- great things she's getting from her boyfriend. Fish tea you don't know is um, flax. Shamni. Can you guess it? Shemin. Shemin is oil or fat. Okay. And shikuyai. Wow, what a great word. What is that? Drinks. Drinks. From shaka. Right? You know the root shaka. So we have talked about this. This form, which is the passive participle, it's not the active participle, the passive participle, where verbs that end in hey, when they go into that passive participle, they get an ew, like ketuva, right? That's, that's uh, your touch word for that, ketuva, right? The thing which is written, the thing which is being drunk. Okay, so she's going to get all these things from her lovers. I'm going to go after those. We, don't, we act like we have no, uh, no idols, but it's not true. right? But don't be ashamed if you believe in God for you. Hallelujah. Verse 8. <coughs> Lachen. Therefore. Hineni. So I think we're used to seeing hineni. Yeah. And behold, what's the ni part? Hey, I. Behold, I am going to sach. And I, I, I don't know why... I don't have any examples for this, but sah uh, means to cover, and you uh, you know it from the word schach. Well, you might not. Uh, it is the covering of the sukkah. Uh, you remember in the movie where they're building the sukkah, that little yeah. fat boy is bringing them. He says, <laughs> that's what he asks for. He says, we need more schach, and it's that, the palm leaves that are going off. So it's the idea of covering up. And but I, I'm sorry I don't have any reference for it here. Okay, what is he going to cover up? Dar kech. What is that? Your derech. Your road. Okay, and what is the difference between dar kecha and dar kech? One is masculine, one is feminine, right? Who is he talking to? The wife. Her na- what is her name? I don't remember. Oh, no, that was so long ago. Gomer. Remember, she's finished. So I'm going to cover up her way. With <laughs> Sirim. So this is kind of an interesting word. So we'll start in Kohelet. What is Kohelet? Yeah, Kohelet. Uh, Zion Pasuk Shesh. What is the root of Kohelet? Kahal. What is a Kahal? Okay. It's the, it called out once, the, an assembly. What is the root of Ecclesiastes? Ecclesiastes. Ecclesia, which is Church. the called out ones. Yeah. No, that's not right. Ecclesia. <laughs> He called them out. It's the same word. Translated as the preacher. Okay, they both mean the same thing. They're talking about the preacher. The person who's speaking to the to the body. Okay? But it's very odd because this is feminine, isn't it? Havel. So the whole theme of Ecclesiastes is Haval Havalim. Vanity of vanities. Remember, this is Abel's name, Havel. It's, what is it? A puff of air. Hevel is a puff of air. So the vanity is not the vanity of standing in front of the mirror every day and checking yourself out, which is also a vanity, <laughs> um, but the uselessness of it. Okay, And that's what Psalm is talking about. All these things that we try and build up for ourselves in our life, it's a puff of air. It's going away. It's in vain. It's useless. Okay? T. The call or the voice of... Sirim. So Sirim is translated as thorns. So it's talking about the noise of the thorns. And where are they? They're tachat hasir. They're nettles under, under kettles. They're nettles under kettles. Very good. So sir also means pots. But that's great. Nettles under kettles. I'm going to remember that forever. It rhymes in English. And what? Ken. Yes. Surely. Sure. Right? Or in this way, schok. So just as we, uh, so schok is the same as tzachak, right? It's a, it's a cognate. Is the laughter of kasil. Kasil is a fool. Vagam zehevel. And this is also mm-hmm. a vanity. 
basically a, a, a puff of wind, a uselessness. <clears throat> what else we can find? Uh, Shemot Tet Zion. Tet Zion. Pasuk Shalom. Why do we use Tet Zion? You don't get close to Yahweh's name. We don't write. We don't write Yud Vav. We don't write Yud Vav because that's too close to Yud Hey Vav Hey. So they move the numbers for 15 and 16. Good. Okay, this is the quintessential verse of Shemot. Okay, Vayomru Alehem. Bnei Yisrael. This is what they said. Mi yiten motenu biyad Yahweh. So it's not like, you know, it's more um, idiomatic, like not who will give, but, you know, if only we had been given what? Mot. Death. Uh-huh, our death by the hand of Yahweh. The Eretz Mitzrayim. In the land of Egypt. Uh-huh. In line of Egypt, Bishav Tenu. So this could be either dwelling or it can be um, uh, exile. Al Sir Habasar. Next to <laughs> the flesh pots. Okay, so it's talking about a literal pot. Ba'achleinu lechem. We were eating bread. La sova, remember sova? Yeah. To be filled. Okay, we uh, ate till the full. Okay. Ki hotsetem, yes, you have brought us, uh, out, otanu, us out. El hamidbar hazeh, to this wilderness, lehamit, to, to kill, kol hakahal, All this congregation, bara'av, in, in hunger. Okay, all right, so here we see that it's the pot. We're going to look at one more in Yeshayahu. Lamidalim. Pasuk Shalosh Esrei. Shalosh Esrei. Alta. Can you recognize it? What is that? Alta. It's one of those things. Allah, which means what? To go up. To come up, right? So it's feminine. <clears throat> Talking about the land. Arm, Armon, we haven't probably learned. Armon is a palace. <laughs> All right, palaces. So we'll rise up in in her palaces, Sirim. These are thorns, right? And then it lists some other ugly things, nettles. And these are the real nettles and the brambles. We'll come up in her Mifzar. Batzar is a surety. This is a fortress. And it will be, Haita Nave is a field or a pasture. Usually it's a pleasant place. But this is for Tanim. Which mine says jackals. I think they don't know what really it is. <laughs> Chatzir is a yard. Yes. Like a courtyard. A courtyard. <laughs> Chatzir is a courtyard. <laughs> and Ya'amna is translated ostriches. Oh, I think they don't really know. But the point is that the whole thing is going to waste. Thorns. Okay? So this is all the thorns. Now. So now we're going back to uh, Hosea. He's going to remember he's hedging her way in with thorns, not with pots, with thorns, okay? And then, we're still in verse 8, and then it says, Gadarti et Gadera. So you see that same root there, the Gadar, right? A Gadar is like a fence or a hedge, a fence made out of hedges. He's going to, I'm going to hedge her in, okay? I'm going to cover her way with thorns. I'm going to hedge her in, and Nativo Teha, we're going to just look at one verse for Nativa. Nativa is in Mizmor. Kaf Yutet. Mizmor has a lot of chapters. Not Kaf, Kuf, Yud, Tet. And this is a memory verse for everybody. It's easy enough. Pasuk Mea Vechamesh. Mea. It's the only one with all these big numbers. 119. 119. You know the verse, right? You will know the verse. <clears throat> there it is. Nitiva. Nitivati is my nitiva. Nair is what? A lamp. A lamp, a candle, Laragli, with your rego. Uh huh. Dvarecha, Davar. Davar. Your word. Your word. Uh huh. Vaor, a light. Lenitivati, to my path. Okay, you know it. 
Thy word is a lamp. I mean, thy word. But how does it go in English? I don't know how it goes in English. Thy word is a lamp to my feet and a light to, and a light to my path. So going back to, we're going to finish this. We're almost done. Okay. Nativoteha. So this is Nativot. Nativa, path, Nativot. And the Eha is what? Her paths. Lo, Timsa. She, is it tim, she will find or it will be found? How do we know it's not will be found? Because it's not Nifo? Yeah, I don't know. Okay, what's another clue? It's not plural, <laughs> it's not, no. right? Nativa Teha is plural. So it's not that her past will be found, but she will not find, all right? Therefore, behold, I am covering her way with thorns, and I will hedge her in with a hedge, and her pathways she will not find. Okay? She's in how, a bad place. Yeah, but how kind of God to hedge her in so that she can't go out and keep doing the evil that she's doing. Yeah? I've, you know, I was in three car wrecks before I got saved. I was never uh, hurt. But by the third one, I walked into my <clears throat> law office full of people who could care less about God, and I said, God can kick me once, and he can kick me twice, but I am not going to be there when he breaks my legs, because that's the next thing that happens, right? The uh, beginning of, uh, what is it? Wisdom. Wisdom. Uh-huh. It's the fear of the Lord. I was afraid, and, and I got afraid, and so that was good. It was good for me. God hedged me in. He said, car wrecks will continue until behavior improves. <laughs> and I said, okay. All right, thank you very much. Shalom. Come back next week. Thank you.